say amen. 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 Always a good time to pray. Yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. And now if you will take your Bibles and turn with me to Colossians, the third chapter. I want to read verses 15 through 17, but I only want to focus on three little words. As we come into this season of thanksgiving and of giving thanks and of reflecting on those things for which we are appreciative for, this scripture came to me and I thought it was fitting. And I'm going to read from the New International Version. Starting at verse 15, it said, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Mm -hmm. And the title of today's message are those three little words on the B clause of verse 15. And be thankful. Mm -hmm. And be thankful. You know, sometimes we can get real busy. And, 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 and live in this life that, that, that we have been given, we get caught up in uh, uh, uh. mm. and, and, and doing the things that we do that make us who we are. Mm. And, and we sometimes think that what we have, where we are, our position in life, our possessions, our talents, our good looks. Uh huh. We all think we're good looking. I know I'm right. We think it's because of something that we did. We think it's something that we earned. We think that we went out there and toiled hard in the soil or in the sun all day and we uh, 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 exhibited that stick to that got us to where we are today. And we sometimes forget that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And without Christ we can do nothing. Nothing. So, and be thankful. Three English words comprise our text for today. But the text is assuredly appropriate on this Sunday before the Thursday that we celebrate Thanksgiving. It serves to remind us of one of the essential characteristics marking the person who knows the living God. If you are saved today, Thanksgiving ought to be something special to you. I've often wondered how the atheists 
celebrates Thanksgiving. To whom does the atheist give thanks to at Thanksgiving? When he sits down around the table full of bounty, full of good food, full of everything, and when people start going around the table announcing what it is that they are thankful for and thanking God for supplying all of their needs, who does the atheist give thanks to? The day must likewise also be hollow for the non-Christian. Now don't get them confused. The non-Christian is not necessarily an atheist. He may believe in a God, just not the right God. Mm -hmm. But who does he give thanks to? And I say he, but it goes he or she, either way. The basis for the command, and be thankful, the heart of the command is in the Greek word, eucharistos. So we get the word, the English word, eucharist, from that, and it is a term used for the Lord's Supper by many liturgical churches Eucharist comes from this Greek word, and the meal is the thanksgiving. When we sit down around our tables, much the same way as the uh, 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 disciples sat down around the table with Christ, and we give thanks, and we bless the food, and we show honor to God. We don't have to do this just on Thanksgiving. It says, as often as ye do it, do it unto me. Do it in remembrance of me. Every time you break bread at the house, you pray a little prayer over it. Every french fry, every hot dog, Every taki. Amen. <laughs> as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. We need yeah. to be reverent of our God. Our God is somebody. Has God done anything for anybody here? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Should we be grateful? Should we be reverent? Has God actually acted on behalf of, uh, of anybody here? Has, has, he, has he moved you out of harm's way? Has he moved harm's way out of your path? Has he delivered you from anything? Do you have anything to be thankful for. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I love what it says in verse 17, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. See, we can't get to God without going through him. He's our interceder, our intercessor. He's our conduit, if you will. You want to get to God, you got to go by way of Jesus. Amen. I could speak of God's character and point each of us 
to the word that he has given in order to remind us to be grateful to him. Do we really need to be reminded to be grateful to God? Do we not recognize him as creator? Can we, are we just so dull that we just can't look around and see yes. that what we have, who we are, is not because of anything that we did? He's omnipotent. All power resides in him. If his power is displayed on our behalf, surely we should give him thanks. If he has restrained his hand from judging us as we deserve, surely we should be thankful unto him. God is omniscient. He knows all things and he certainly knows all about us. Huh? He sees us even when we are certain that we are all alone. He sees us. I don't care how dark it is. I don't care how you think you are hidden. He sees you. He knows all about you. He knows your thoughts. Hmm? You ain't nothing but filthy rag. We all filthy rags. We are made somebody only through the blood of Jesus. In and of ourselves, a dumb heap. We filthy. I'm saying we because I know y'all just like me and I know what I look like. Of course, I've got quiet up again. It's all right. Everybody at home, y'all got the mirrors. But you got that mirror to your soul. You know how guilty you are. We all know what we deserve. For the wages of sin is death. Praise be to God that that death didn't have to be our death. Praise God that he loved us enough to send his only begotten son to take our place on that tree, on that hill over 2,000 years ago. That in his sufficiency, we might be thankful. That we might, if no more than one day a year, set aside just a little bit of time to reflect on the blessings that we have because of him. I don't care if you're a CEO or if you're the OOO. I don't care if you pop the champagne in the penthouse or if you mop the floors in the basement. You are who you are because he is who he is. And be thankful. When you wash your car, be thankful. I don't care if you're driving a Hoopty or if you're driving a Tesla. Be thankful. If it rains all day and the sun only shines for two minutes, be thankful. And even if the sun don't shine, it's all right anyway. God is. And be 
be thankful. I hesitate to focus so intently on God's character that I fail to remind us that as Christians, we are blessed people. Amen. 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 You may well recall that the Apostle Paul, writing the Corinthian saints, challenged them to think of God's multiplied demonstrations of grace. You remember in my message two weeks ago, I talked about that grace. When Paul addressed the church, churches in Galatia, In 1 Corinthians, Paul says, who sees anything different in you? What do you have that you did not receive? If then you received it, why do you boast as if you did not receive it? Paul's alluring to what I was just talking about. You got a good job? Guess what? <laughs> you didn't get it on your own. Huh? You got good grades in school? Guess what? It wasn't just because you studied harder or longer than everybody else. Who gave you the stamina to study? Huh? Who put it in you to do what you did to get where you got? Nobody but God. And for that, we are thankful. We should be thankful. If you're not, woe be unto you. If one has wealth or worldly goods, have we considered how he obtained his possession? We either receive our possessions from others as an inheritance or a gift, or we have received strength, ingenuity, and abilities from God, and these have permitted us to accumulate those things which we have and be thankful. Mm -hmm. God gives you a job. Don't go to your job mumbling. <laughs> and be thankful. If you have to work on the weekends, if you have to work nights, you have to work on holidays, and be thankful. There are people at the unemployment office standing in long, long lines just waiting to get that job you got. You know, that place in that classroom that you have, that acceptance to that college you have, huh? If we have a position and power, it's God that gave it to us. We didn't do anything on our own. Only through the grace of God we are who we are. Yes, and we need to be thankful. Yes, I'm going to finish this message the same way I started it. Yes, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, mm -hmm. you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, through hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word, whether in deed, do it all. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. giving thanks to God the Father through him. Let us thank.
In order to give thanks to God the Father, through Christ Jesus, you first have to know Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And if we have anybody here today that has yet to accept Christ Jesus, we open the doors of the church. Universal. For your explicit membership. Today is a good day. Amen. A good day. Praise be unto God. We love him and adore him. We revere him.